Another state finally recognizes the freedom to marry, bringing the national total to 10. With work accelerating in Delaware and Illinois, that could increase to 11 or 12 within the next few weeks. Civil unions start in Colorado, and a civil union bill in a tiny Arizona town could bring about civil unions for the entire state. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for May 6, 2013. It's a huge victory in Rhode Island this week, with years of work culminating in the passage of a marriage equality bill. The Rhode Island legislature has considered marriage bills every year since 1997. Now it's finally the 10th state where gay and lesbian couples can wed. Marriage equality now covers all of New England, about 14.5 million people. Rhode Island weddings can start on August 1st. But another state may beat them to the punch. Delaware's Senate is scheduled to vote on a marriage bill this Tuesday, and if it passes, weddings would start there in July. The vote could be very close, with several legislators declining to state their position. It still could go down in defeat. Visit EqualityDelaware.org to find out how you can help support the bill. We may also see a vote in Illinois this month. Governor Patrick Quinn has been lobbying heavily for the marriage bill. He estimates that a roll call on SB 10 could come before the end of May. But as in Delaware, the vote could be very close, and defeat is still a real possibility. Visit EQIL.org to support the effort there. Civil unions launched last week in Colorado. Couples lined up at midnight to get licenses, with officials expecting that thousands of couples may take advantage of the new protections. Now work turns towards full equality in Colorado. A public policy polling survey from last April showed that 53 percent support marriage equality, with 40 percent opposed. We've also seen some movement towards civil unions in nearby Arizona. Despite initial resistance from the state attorney general, the small artist town of Bisbee is working on a limited civil unions ordinance. Although it would fall far short of full equality, which the state constitution prohibits, the uh, Bisbee law could be used as a model by other Arizona towns seeking to protect LGBT families. A public policy polling survey from 2011 shows that 72 percent of Arizonans support some form of relationship recognition. And Oregon is about a year and a half away from voting on a marriage equality ballot measure. Early polling is encouraging, with 49 percent supporting marriage to just 42 percent opposed. But there's still lots of time for those numbers to change. Basic Rights Oregon is leading the charge. Visit basicrights.org to support their work. Meanwhile, we're closer than ever to resolution in the Prop 8 and DOMA cases. Subscribe here on YouTube and at AFER.org for breaking news alerts and to find out how you can help support the cases. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. We'll see you next week.